so today is the day, bathroom day. I'm so excited to get this project done. We're gonna hang up a couple shelves, like floating shelf style sort of, above each of the toilets in the guest room and our bathroom. Um, I've got some cute decor to go on them. I'm gonna organize the linen closet in our bathroom. I've got some cute bins and baskets that's gonna help one, stay organized, and two, just look more aesthetically pleasing. And yeah, I'm pretty pumped about it. I think it's gonna turn out really cute. Um, we might also get a shelf for our like front room. We had hung up three frames, but I just feel like they look too small. So I wanna do a shelf underneath them, lean them on the shelf, and then add in some more frames or some fillers or something. I think that will just take up that wall better. Um, and that will be cheaper than having to buy like a big art piece and then move those frames. Overall, I think it's a better idea. But can't wait to have our bathroom all done. We have some really cute decor that we've already bought. And um, yeah, I think it's gonna be a pretty easy project and pretty inexpensive, wouldn't you say? Yeah. It should be like, what did we say it was last time? Like $6? for the piece of wood and then they cut it for free. Yeah. And it's gonna give us four shelves. And then I got brackets on Amazon that were like, I don't even know, $10 or something like that, 12 maybe. They were very inexpensive and it's eight brackets, so it'll hang up four shelves um, if you use two each, obviously. So that is the project for today. Okay, we got a little DIY fuel in and out burger. We literally never eat there hardly, but it's pretty close to our house. And yeah, I will say Whataburger forever. I would cry if Whataburger shut down. I wouldn't really think twice if In N Out shut down. But In N Out has its place, it has its moments. And I will say today they salted the fries, which I appreciate because sometimes their fries taste like cardboard. This is our version of eating healthy on Sunday. Yeah, this is how we eat healthy. We pick in and out instead of- We said we were gonna eat healthy today. No, I didn't have it. Mm. But well, blame it on me on that. We just saw a thing on Instagram that was like, it's okay to eat out twice on the same day. And I showed Morgan and I was like, well, that makes me feel better. We'll eat at home tonight, probably. Yeah, we haven't even had it yet. Well, all we've had is coffee today. Yeah, all we've had is coffee, hashtag skinny. Okay, we, We'll see y'all after we're fed and happy. Okay y'all, so this is the current state of the bathroom linen closet. This is just how I organized it. Chances down here. Um, whenever I like unpacked all of our stuff. So we basically just throw the towels up here. Um, like this is a hand towel. These are regular towels. This is actually a rug, which I might go put in the guest room for now. Chaos, this is like extra makeup. <laughs> Stuff that I don't use all the time. This is bath bombs. And then in this little bag, I have like face masks and hair masks. Um, distilled water for my nose. This little thing, which I think I'm just gonna get rid of these, not get rid of them, move them either below the sinks. Maybe each of us will get one or I'll put them in the kitchen somewhere, just depending on how the bathroom turns out, got a Google Home that needs to be plugged in, um, more random stuff. Here's my nail situation. Um, these are two separate bins. This is from Amazon. This is from Home Goods, I believe. Not sure what I'm going to do with that yet. This is like a first aid kit, y'all. Do they still sell these at Target? Like cute little first aid kits? Anyways, they don't come stocked. You have to stock them yourself, but they're like inexpensive. And then this is the, what used to be in the drawer. <laughs> These organizers used to be in the drawer of my apartment when I had drawers in my bathroom, now we don't. Um, and then we've just got a f um, drawer that won't fit under the sinks. So I'm not sure what to do with it. Extra like a white bin, you know, extra a scale that needs to be moved. You get the gist. So this is what we're working with. We are going to turn this baby around more organized, more aesthetically pleasing. Honestly, this just causes me stress. This is open almost all the time. I don't like the way that it looks. And I just want like a Pinterest house. That's not too wrong of me, right? Okay, and then over here on this back wall, we've got the toilet, obviously 
nothing over here. I don't even have anything for over here. I'm not sure if I should like hang something up. I think I'm gonna put like, you know, hang a towel there to look nice. But for the most part, we're hanging up two shelves above the toilet. We're gonna put that on there. Um, so maybe the only thing back here will be like a candle. Um, and yeah, that's kind of the plan for right there. I've got my organization stuff out. Let me go ahead and show you that. Okay, so as far as what I bought, I got two of these smaller bamboo lid storage bins for the closet. And then I also got two of these baskets for the closet. So as you can see the size difference there, these are a lot smaller. Um, and then, I don't know if I've shown you all this. I went shopping yesterday, I don't think I showed you. Um, I got this two pack of the hair, um, you know, the little like twisty turbies or whatever these are called. So excited about that. I used one at Morgan's mom's house and I loved it. So I wanted to get some. And then this is just like a foot mask. And I just thought that was fun because I really don't get pedicures that often. I had a bad experience once and it just kind of like ruined it for me. So anyways, I thought I would do a little, you know, at home foot mask. There's the other one. And these were really inexpensive. These were only $6.99, which I feel like is a really good deal on these cute baskets. And then I also got this. So it matches the little ones. It's just the larger size. They only had one that wasn't broken. So you can see these were $9.99. And then I'm not sure what the size on this one was or the price. $6.99 for the small ones. So there's that. I'm keeping my makeup in a bag below the sink at the moment. We're going to get new things. I think matte black, um, like hand soap holder, toothbrush holder, that kind of thing. And yeah, so we'll just go from there. But I'm most excited to get these shelves up. I have the cutest decor and we are going to fix that closet. It's over here because it's in the mirror. Fix that closet and it's going to be super cute when we're done. So let's get started. Okay, so I also got this stuff. This is just a large basket we're going to use as a laundry basket in the bathroom. One that matches it, smaller for toilet paper, I think. I got this little smell good thingy. I don't know what this is called, like I for the life of me. A diffuser, diffuser. I got this little plant. This is actually just has a bunch of change in it. I got this at Target like a really long time ago. It's in the dollar spot, $3. It's like a ceramic thing. It says this or that. And I just thought it would, you know, which is kind of cute. So that will go up there nicely. And then the picture that I printed off the internet that I put in a Michael's frame that I got on sale for like seven bucks. So yeah, pretty inexpensive. Pretty inexpensive idea right there. And this little basket, before I forget, is from Target. They have two sizes. This is the larger size. I believe it's $13. I'm not kidding you guys. I just downloaded the Poshmark app and someone is selling this for $33. And I'm just like, ew, you're annoying. It's $13. Go to Target and get it. If you like it, I just put, um, you know, tampons inside. <laughs> Okay, to get actually super organized, I'm gonna go through this makeup and figure out what can be thrown away and what I need to keep. That way I can see if I need to use a big basket or if I can downsize to something smaller. Okay, so I've set up here on the bed. I've got a towel down, um, a bag to throw stuff away, and I'm just gonna go through this stuff and see what I'm still gonna use. Okay, so this is all the stuff I'm keeping. I've got a few palettes here, eyeshadow, some smaller palettes, an extra foundation, some bronzers, eyes, and a couple lip products. And I just got a sweet package. Oh, and I'm gonna keep some fake lashes. Literally never wear these. Like I have no reason to, I never want to, but I bought them and I don't wanna get rid of them. So I'm gonna keep them. I also just got a ton of makeup from a sweet, sweet lady who I love. Um, and I'm going to put all of that stuff in here as well. But it was like packed and now there's nothing on the side. 
and this is all I'm working with. Once I get a vanity, I will luckily be able to hopefully move all of this into the vanity and then I won't have to save space for extra makeup in the bathroom. This is the throwaway, haven't touched in years pile. Okay, so next I'm gonna go ahead and open this and see if I can get some of these bath bombs, if not all of them in here. There's a few that I've had for a long time um, that I just like don't think I would reach for, so I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of those. Okay, after going through that pink organizer, I realized a lot of it, either I didn't need it or it would go under the sink because I reach for it a lot more often. So in here, this is kind of turned into my extras bin or things that I don't reach for maybe but once a week. So over here, I've got my like teeth whitening stuff. I've got extra moisturizers that I think I had just bought one and then somebody sent me one. So I have extras of those. Um, an extra Vaseline and Afrin. That's like for nose bleeds after my surgery, but I haven't really needed it. These are the extra eyebrow razors that I love. Um, I'll have these linked down below if you don't like to tweeze. I'm like a huge fan of these. They come in like, I think you get a four pack um, with three each. So I really like those. They're inexpensive. And then I have some stretch mark cream, which I don't use that often. Um, I used to use this a lot. I don't know if I should get rid of it or not. And then some tanning lotion. And this is just a sleep mask. Sometimes I use it on my face probably about once a week. So I'll know where that is because it's been in there since the beginning. So I'll take off the plastic and this bin will be done. Okay, so this is the final bathroom closet look that we've got going. So we already have put our dirty clothes in there from last night. We've got our scale down here. Um, this is all of my nail polish stuff. So I've got those all organized and then kind of the extras here in the front. These we've got my um, refills and bath bombs. So bath bombs, hair masks are here on the top. Refills of extras are here on the bottom. This is kind of the miscellaneous. This is a steamer. I might move this just because you can see the bag. Um, I could also use this one as a toilet, like over the toilet basket maybe and get something here with a lid, but I actually kind of like that they match. So we'll see, but um, steamer, um, contact lenses. This is just a foot mask that I want to use soon. And then I also have, um, these trash bags back here that are for our bathroom trash can. So we've got some more towels. This is the makeup. It's sitting in here in a clear, um, divider. So it's very organized. And then over here, I've just got a couple of, um, extra shampoo and conditioners. We've got our toilet paper right in there. And this again is just another extras bin. So refills of random items that I don't have to access very often. And that is the whole look. Oh my gosh, y'all are gonna love this. Hi Hachi. Did you find a home in the dirty clothes? Okie doke. He has dubbed this his home. <laughs> so it's Monday after work. Mr. Handyman. Um, I'm drinking the HEB Organics Lemon Strawberry. If you're in Texas, try these. The Peach Guava is also really good. 
Um, I love them. It literally tastes like a White Claw, but with no alcohol, which is nice because sometimes you just want a White Claw, but you don't need alcohol every day after work. So when you have this, it's only 40 calories. So y'all can really hang these either way. I think the original way intended is like this, but we kind of tested it and decided we liked the look like this better because then you couldn't really see it. We'll put something in front of the part that's gonna stick up and then they'll look more like true floating shelves. These brackets, by the way, um, it's an eight pack, I believe. I'll link it for you on below in the description box. They're from Amazon. Okay, so this is what it looks like so far. I think we're gonna put a command strip, since we're doing these kind of backwards and we're using thin shelves, so we're not gonna drill them in. Um, we're gonna put a command strip just to have a little bit of Velcro to hold it on, just so it doesn't slide off, um, you know, or anything. But other than that, I think they look so cool. We need to hang up the second one, but I love the look of it. I feel like it's really sleek and not super chunky, and it's nice for this small space that we're working with. down yeah it's like the we might have to upgrade to a thicker board but honestly okay I feel like that looks better for some reason yes let's get the decor up there and see how it looks okay kind of hard to see me down here but this um I've talked about before in a vlog but this frame was seven dollars at Michael's um it's like 11 by 14 I think and then in here is eight and a half by 11 or eight by ten maybe um, and I just printed this image off of Google. I'm gonna put this up here on the top shelf, I think. And then I think I'm gonna put the green up there with it. So this I got at Marshall's, it was $6. Super cute, love the, um, the kind of dusty look of the plant or the leaves. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like the way that looks. Okay, and then this is just, <laughs> y'all are so tall. Let me angle you just a little bit so I can talk to you. Okay, nope, didn't help at all. Okay, so this little jar is just from Target. It was in the $3, like the dollar spot section. It's really just filled with quarters at the moment. Um, I got it a couple years ago. Don't know if it's still available, but it looks exactly like a candle that I currently have. And I just thought those looked really cute together. So I think I'm going to put these. So this one's a candle and then that's just like whatever. Um, and then this little basket I actually got at Target. $13. I put my feminine products inside so that they're nearby but you know not out where everyone has to look at them or Morgan has to look at them I guess so I love it I love it okay I just wanted to video it this way because I feel like you can really see the actual height for some reason when I turn the camera sideways I feel like it looks odd so I know your screen is kind of skinny but this is more of like the you know, the full effect. I'm so happy with them. We're about to go do the same ones in the guest bathroom. I 
he also, I found these random, like, I don't know, double-sided sticky things when I was looking for command strips. Don't know where they came from, don't know what they came with, but we're using them. So basically, I just put a couple on there, and then we stick the shelf on, and it sticks perfectly. They, like, really hold tight. It's awesome. That one. That one. Um, I think the other way. This one? Yeah. I think, well, I don't know. Okay. Whatever you think, it'll be good. Right there? Uh, yeah. And yeah, you just kind of press and it... They don't move. Crazy. There we go. Compared to... Like if you just lay it on there. So much sturdier. Yay for random double-sided sticky stuff. I love, I love it so much. They look so good, babe. We did it. There we go. Another one in the books. Okay, so this is what I have so far. I haven't really gotten anything else to go in here, but I think I want to get some hand towels and just fold them right here in a stack. I'll probably move that and trade it for a plant or something, but I did fill this frame. I bought this print off of Etsy um, a while ago and you can get it printed in whatever, whatever size. So I just had Walgreens print it in a five by seven and that's what we have so far. And then I did buy, get down, get down. And then I ended up buying this at Target thinking it would go up here and I didn't really love it. So I don't know for sure that that will stay. I feel like it's a little too brown for the space now, but we'll see. Um, I do love it. It might end up in the guest room eventually, but for now it's right here. And then just my soap dispenser from my old house. So that's kind of where we're at for the moment. Let's see if we can. So shower curtain, I think I'm gonna switch those out to be silver um, shower hooks, but we got that at um, Target. I think it's hearth in hand, the shower curtain, I think. And that is what it's looking like. <laughs>